one and only world's coolest Sega enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now I know what you're thinking to yourself, what? Sega Slayer? Animal Crossing over in only four parts? What? What? And let me explain. So while that's true, it's also not true, okay? Remember when I mentioned that Animal Crossing New Horizons would be a super long series on this channel? Well, that's going to hold true. What is ending today is not Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's Animal Crossing New Horizons, the story. That's right. The, well, I guess the lack there. There's a story in this game. It's very short, very small. Main goal is to get KK Slider to come to your town, and he's here today. He's coming here today. Uh, I went about and did everything to get him to come here today. I designed the entire island. I placed furniture all around. He's coming here today, okay? You know, just to prevent this from, like, I didn't mean to press A. Okay, well, whatever. He's coming here today, okay? He's here. And this is going to be a lot. This episode's not going to have much editing because I want this to be straightforward. I'm going to be walking around, showing you everything that I've done. I I've gotten around him coming here. Uh, I got new rooms. There. This is going to be a long episode and a, a, a more unedited episode. So, you know... Play it. But yeah, KK Slider's coming here, and that'll be the end of the story mode. Now, I, I know you're saying to yourself, Second Slayer, we didn't really get to see much of the story mode. And that's because there's not really much to show, you know? The, the, basically, Isabel and Tom Nook told me I had to uh, place decorations and flowers around to get a nice town to get KK to come here. And uh, he's coming here. He's here today. And that is the end of the game. But let me explain how this is going to work, okay? There's going to be a lot more to this than you think there is. Remember when I said I wanted Animal Crossing to be a huge series on the channel? That is because it's going to be a huge series. Okay, so I'm recording this episode before part three. You're, you've seen part three already. Part three is going to be the Halloween episode. And that is how Animal Crossing will be framed going forward after this episode right here. Animal Crossing, I, Halloween is tomorrow. At the time of recording is October 30th, Monday. Halloween is tomorrow, October 31st. I'm going to be recording part three tomorrow on Halloween. So you've already seen part three. The video you're watching right now is part four. This come, this is going to come out way after part three. So I haven't even recorded part three yet. But however I do part three is how all of these episodes are going to be framed going forward, right? So Animal Crossing will come back during super big events. That means either big events that happen in the game or holidays or birthdays. So for my birthday, for the birthday video, it's going to be an Animal Crossing video for Easter, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, Halloween, oh, that's Halloween, Christmas. We're going to be doing Animal Crossing episodes for those holidays going forward. So remember, so when I said this was going to be a huge series, I'll also update you from time to time on how the town's going, how it's looking. Oh, and soon after this stream, I don't know when, but I know after this video, after you see this video, we're unlocking the Island Designer app, which will give us full range to design paths, mountains, and really bring Sega GT to life. You will get to see... I'll be doing a huge live streaming series. It could be three parts. It could be four parts. It could be two parts. I don't know. I'm going to be doing a huge live streaming series where I'll be live streaming me completely designing this island to the way I want it and taking some input from you guys as well. So, you know, and if anyone does have the game by the time I do those live streams, probably a couple weeks after you see this, then we're going to be doing all that, all that together. Now, I know I've been talking a bunch, and like I said, I'm not going to hold you up anymore. Let's get straight into this. Without further ado, uh, sorry about that cut. Right now on Sega GT, it's 2.10 p.m. on Monday, October 30th, 2023. Now, today I have one very special announcement. The incredible, amazing musician KK Slider is here visiting Sega GT. Not only that, but Mr. Slider has graciously agreed to put on a special concert for everyone on the island. Stand by for a direct feed from the co uh, concert venue. I hope you all enjoy the show. Here we go, guys. So, I'm going to take you on, before we get to KK, KK will be the very last thing we do, okay? Before we get to KK and end off the, well, oh, never mind. I guess we just get the concert right away. Never mind. Hey, Sega GT. It's real groovy being here today. Feels like this dream I once had when I was just a scruffy pup with a shoebox guitar. I was dreaming of hitting out on my own, wondering wherever my road would take me. Dreaming of finding a magical place where cool cats like you would come together to see a stray like me. Sorry about that. I do run on. Time to get your fingers snapping. Here we go, boys. 
Right on. This one goes out to all you cool cats on Sega GT. I call it Welcome Horizons. Here we go, everyone. We got, look, Boomer, Quilson, Midge. Uh, here's everyone. Look. Bon Bon, Lyman, Phoebe. Me, Phoebe, and Lyman were the OGs. Isabel. Should I talk to her on this? Yeah, this is the credits. This, this is it. This is really it right here. This is the credits. Should, should I be talking to her on this? I'm not going to talk for the rest of this. I'll be quiet. Your boy looking like a goat right there in the middle. Look, I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. I earned this, okay? You guys you guys don't know. I earned this. I, I did. I spent forever playing this game. I've been playing this game. You might not know this, but I've been playing this game every day. Every single day. I've been getting on. I've been building up the town, spending money, doing this and that. I've been on every day working super hard at this goal, and we did it. All for you guys. I didn't you know, show most of it off because I didn't want you guys to... Most of it was just boring. I just placed furniture all around the island just to, and that furniture and a ton of flowers. And I knew this is not going to be the final design of the island. I just kind of threw it everywhere to get KK here. And I know I'm talking over the credits, but you know what? Screw it, you know? Snowflakes. Everyone's here. It's Blather. Let's see if I can name everyone. Boomer in the back with the sun, uh, with the uh, aviator shades. Phoebe and Lyman and me right in the middle because we were the three OGs. Tom Nook, Timmy, Tommy, Sydney is the koala, purple koala in the back, Jeremiah is the blue frog, Isabel is the, well, puppy dog, Blathers is the, um, owl, I couldn't remember, Bonbon bon is the rabbit, Midge is the, like, pink bird you see, and Quilson, he's the little green duck, so I named everyone, that's everyone who's here. There's more, we can have more here, but I haven't been able to move more people here, because right now it's so, like, done, but, oh, KK side is finishing up, okay, I'll be quiet now. Oh, okay, well, it's done. That's the end of the game. Yep. That's the, thank you so much. Maybe I'll catch you next time. That's the end of Animal Crossing New Leaf. Uh, <laughs> did I say New Leaf? New Horizons. That's the end of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Yep. That is the entire ending of the game right there. And for our hard work, what are we going to get? Tom Nick's outside of my house? Hello, Marvin. Did you enjoy KK's concert? Loved it. Wonderful, wasn't it? I'm overjoyed that we could get him to play here. It's a special thing for sure. As a commemorative gift, I have his song, Welcome Horizons, for you. Thank you. I don't really want it, but thank you. So listen to it. You'll need an item that can play music, and I do hope you enjoy it. I have some big news, too. KK is apparently very fond of our island now. He's going to perform a show here every Saturday evening from now on. It really is amazing. Sega GT was once a deserted island, but now we can host important concerts. I'm so thankful to you and everyone else on the island. I guess my getaway package idea is a success. I hope Sega GT remains an enjoyable place to live for a long time. To come with your help, it will. Speaking of which, I've developed a new app that should help you make the island even more inviting. Let me send it to you now. So this app is the most important app right now. This is your reward for beating the game. There it is right there. Island Designer. The app I just sent you is called Island Designer. It's a special app from Nook Inc. that gives residents the ability to take part in bold island development. At first you only have permission to create paths, but you can use your miles to access more options like different kinds of paths and permits for changing our cliffs and rivers. Once you get a taste of the island design, I think you uh, of island design. I think you'll want more. I encourage you to obtain all the necessary permits. Yes, sir, Sega GT has come a long way. I think I'll leave more and more of future development of this island in the hands hands of its residents. I'm glad we had this talk, Marvin. On behalf of Nook Inc., I'm excited about our continued partnership and your Sega GT plans. So, yep, there we go. That might seem anticlimactic to you, but it's not. Wow, 
Well, now that KK has performed, it's time to focus on making Island Life better and better. That means living each day to the fullest, doing things I like, and having lots of fun. Uh, yeah, in other words, that's Nintendo saying, hey, you just beat the game. There's no, We're not really going to do anything more for you, it's time to make your own fun. So, uh, yeah. That, we, we beat the game. Uh, let's open up Island Designer here. And the first thing we can do, next, is a cleanup service for more information, blah, blah, blah. So go ahead, try hand at your app and start shaping your island to its performance. So I start up Island Designer app to do some construction work. Yes. Getting permissions for construction. Island Designer is ready. Use the plus button, switch between different construction options. Please choose the manual for info. Okay. Boom. We are not Island Designers. So, we need to use the plus button to switch between different island. So we can do dirt paths right now, and, uh, yeah, okay. That is kind of slow. I, I, I see how it works. Okay, wait. Let's try it in a little, let's try, because I have plans for this. I know this is going to, this is going to be a bit slow, but I got plans, okay? Okay. Okay. No, he, I don't want him to do that. Could you go a little bit faster? Yeah, this is going to be tedious. That's why I said this, there was, this was going to be a string. Because this is going to be a bit tedious. But it's okay. Okay? It, it is okay. We, we will figure it out. Okay? We, I promise you, we'll get it all figured out. We're going to do it. It's going to look nice. I mean, this is more. This is still more convenient at the end of the day than uh, Animal Crossing New Horizon, New Leaf. I will say that, though. Am I done building for now? Yes, I'm done. Request cleanup. What does request cleanup mean? Sometimes while doing construction, you might find yourself in a little bit of trouble. Perhaps you can't pick up an item placed on top of a cliff. Maybe a decoration in a narrow area keeps the game from moving around. The cleaning service can help you pick up items placed immediately around you. Any cleaning items will be placed in the recycle box inside resident service. Please check the manual for details. Okay, no, not right now. Am I done? Well, no, I'm done. I'm done for now. No, I'm done. Am I done building? Yeah, I'm done. Commencing wrap-up sequence. Construction controls terminated. Please feel free to use our services again. I will. So there we go. Look, we got some paths right here. Uh, this ain't. We're not done. This is just what we have for now. I'm not gonna actually bother sitting down trying to build paths because I'm moving everyone's houses anyway. No one is staying where they are. Okay. So I'm gonna take you a little bit on the tour of Sega GT and I'll show you how I did it. First things first. I'm gonna show you the inside of my house because that's what you're probably most curious about. Because I did finish up building. Well, I, well, first thing you're probably curious about is the fact that, yes, I did move my house. It is in a weird position. Uh, if I open up the map here, you can see it's now sitting there, and uh, that is done for a certain reason. I, I put it right there because I want to... I, I have a plan. I, you know, I'm not going to spoil the plans. I don't want to spoil what I have planned for this just yet, but I have something huge planned for it. And it, it's it. That's why I put it on this little island. It it will make sense in the future. I promise it will make sense in the future. Right now we're just kind of going with the flow. If I if I have to be honest with you. But I, once I once I get things all uh, set it out, then it will look a little bit nicer. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you inside my house first, and then we'll talk about everything else after. Cause some things have changed in here. Uh, notably, first things first. Um, we'll go over the living room. The living room has changed a bit. Uh, there's now a chandelier on top. I have a big grand piano over here. Uh, I, I got a new TV, a white one to go up here since I moved the one up in my room. I'll also show you my bedroom. I showed it off on stream, but I'll show it here. I got this like uh, white shelf thing, and I keep my seahorse and a little radio on top of that for fun. Uh, I actually keep my uh, home house plaques up there. So these are all the plaques I've won. I won silver and bronze so far. I want to win gold, and they'll all go up there in order. I got a clock up there little cabinet over there i'm sure you're most curious about what's down in the basement since i haven't showed that yet but we're gonna take our time here okay we're gonna take our time like i said this is gonna be a long more unedited raw video of just what's going on in animal crossing so in the office uh i've also added a white chandelier now to go up there uh and i have a safe just because you know that's where i keep some of my funds and things like that and a, a little clock. That alarm clock isn't par uh, permanent, but I put it there just for now, just so I can tell time. I mean, yeah, I got a PC right here, but you know, you never know. Maybe I'm sitting over here. Uh, th I, this is a this is a homework stand and a stack of documents. I wanted this to be like the place where I I pay bills or whatever, you know, just like the the place where I'm like working on important paperwork or whatever, you know, for the city, you know. 
you know. So over here, I got over here uh, is the bathroom. The bathroom I don't think has changed actually, so I don't know why I really went in here. The bathroom uh, has not changed whatsoever. Nope. Yeah, there's no change in the bathroom. That painting probably will get moved after Halloween. I just put it there for now because it was like, oh hey, I had it. So I was like, okay, let's put this here. I think it'll look nice. The kitchen has actually seen a change, so I will show you what's in the kitchen now. Very minor things are in the kitchen. Like I said, I know you're all excited for the basement. That's what you want to see. That's what I want to show you guys anyway. I know that's what you want to see, so that's what I will show you. So in the kitchen, though, the uh, well, a few minor changes. We got new wallpaper. I added a radio in here. Oh, no, the radio was already here. We got a knife rack to go up here because I think that looks nice. And we got a broom set to go down here because, again, that looks nice. And, uh... Yeah, other than that, oh, oh, the chandelier. I added another golden chandelier. It's the exact same one from the living room in here. I just thought it would look nice, so I'll put it there. And other than that, yeah, that's it for the kitchen. Maybe there'll be more major changes for the kitchen later on. I don't know. I don't think the kitchen needs too much prep work. I kind of like the way it is, how simplistic it is. Uh, going upstairs, uh, a couple things have changed here temporarily. These won't, it, it won't be like this forever. It's just like that for now. So what I've done essentially is... I've added a new map behind my bed because, you know, I am a geography and history guy. So, I put a map up there because I thought that looked nice. And I would put that behind my bed right under my air conditioner. And other than that, I moved the workbench that was outside in here. Since I moved my house from where it was originally, I figured this needed somewhere to go. Because I no longer have one inside the residential services because they, you know, got rid of it once I upgraded the services. So, just so I always had a workbench on hand, this one sits here. I'll figure out a way to put it back outside at some point. But now for the moment of truth, which you've all been waiting for, the underground, the basement. I told you guys I would build something super cool down here. And what I actually ended up building, I don't know if I told you guys or not. I built an arcade. Yep. There's a fully functional arcade. Well, it's not fully functional because you can't actually play the games. But there is an arcade under here. I'm going to take you guys under here. It's going to look super cool. And I told you guys what my plans were for it. And it, I think it looks nice. I don't think I'm going to make any more major changes to my house, personally. I kind of, you know, a lot of people have their houses, like, stuffed to the brim with furniture. When I do Animal Crossing, I like my house to be a lot more simplistic, a lot more realistic in a sort of sense. And, you know, I'm rich. And I, I like to do this as, like, as though I'm rich. So, you know, I did, oh, I changed my hair to blue. I don't know if I told you guys that. My hair's blue to match the rest of my clothes. Um... Yeah, but I'll take you guys down here. If, if there was anything I would ever want in my house, is it would be an indoor arcade. So I, that's how I did this, you know. I did this a lot more, you know, indoor. It, it's super cool. Let's see. Boom. That is right. I told you guys I was going to take the uh, the fire starters that I had and put them down here to start the uh, start up the arcade. And you can see, we got tons of cool stuff down here. So the wallpaper I have is actually a Galaxy Space wallpaper, and I thought that would look like really freaking cool. There's a lot of sights and sounds, and this entire place sounds just like an arcade. Um, uh, the floor, the floor is supposed to be more like a, you know, a type of retro arcade style. I got these seats that are literally called arcade seats. They are literally called arcade seats. So these would be the chairs you put in front of the arcade. And they only had three types of arcade games in this game, so it was a little bit annoying. And I know it's a bit uneven because there's only three arcade games over here, but there's four over here. We got the combat type space arcade shooter. We got the fighting game and... Mojang. I don't know why anyone would want to play a Mojang arcade game. And also we have this space command tournament right here, right here, uh, in the middle. What? Right here, right here. What the heck? Uh, space Command Terminal. It, it doesn't really do anything. I wanted it to be more like a space game, you know, that, but it, it's not, you know, it's just a command terminal. We got a couple claw machines over here. We got two black ones, uh, or blue ones. And over here, we got a black one, and a blue one, and a white one right there. Uh, we got three ATMs, and the reason all three of these ATMs are actually the same thing, they all work, by the way, if you're curious, they all actually allow you to access your bank account, but I, the reason I put three here is because I wanted to pretend like, you know, that we accepted three different banks, you know, maybe the red one is like Bank of America, can I say normal bank names on here? Well, I, I don't know if I can actually say normal bank names on here. But th three different banks, you know, that's what I wanted to make it like. The fire just looks freaking cool, and I put arcade sirens. So these are computer servers, and the reason I put the computer servers on here is that, like, you know, if you've ever been to a real arcade, they usually have, like, big power towers that, you know, the, car the arcade games all receive their power from. So I wanted these to kind of mimic that. 
And just for some extra sound, I put cop sirens on top, so two blue ones right on top. Just to uh, really hone in that extra sound and, like, arcade feeling. I don't know. I thought that looked really cool. I think this place looks really cool. And, of course, again, these arcade games aren't functional. They don't work. You can mess with them, and they'll make sounds if you touch them, but they don't work. Now, if you're wondering, yes, they did have pinball machines. And I might actually replace these claw machines with two pinball machines going forward. I might, because I think I saw some. And if and if that's true, I, I think I do will, will want to replace them. Because, you know, we got three over here. Is it really necessary to have one, two... Three, four, five, five or five claw machines. I don't think so. I think three claw machines over here would look nice. Two pinball machines over there would look nice. ATMs right here. And, you know, obviously, I, obviously, you know, this this arcade is open to the public. So if you ever join my world, uh, my uh, island, and you want to come down here and just look at it, you know, you can. I actually, I like to role play in my head that this entire arcade is open to all of Sega GT during a certain time frame. But you know, my entire house is technically open to Sega GT, so you know. You can come in here. It looks nice. Feel free to take inspiration from anything you like. You know, I like the whole... I, you know, I like mine to be a little more traditional in some ways and a little more outlandish in others. You know, with my bedroom and arcade being, like, super outlandish, but then having a straight-up normal... You know, this is a normal-looking living room. Grand piano, you know, even in all. Uh, this normal-looking office. The bathroom, it's not normal-looking, but it, it's, it's normal-ish. And the kitchen is definitely normal-looking, you know, so... I like to mix realism and, like, non-realism together to make this, like, really super cool idea of, you know, an animal crossing town. If we look in here, we got some mail. Uh, this comes from Phoebe. She says, I was working in my garden, and I must have got carried away yelling at the outfits and slugs and stuff because I looked up and saw one of my neighbors running scared. Do I have that effect on it, everyone? Be honest with me, Phoebe question for you Marvin yeah you do you're, you're a bit scary so I put some flowers here and a grill again this was just to get around because I needed to make this town a three-star rated town to get KK to visit the town and so that's what I did so I just threw some flowers over here and I know you're already wondering I know you see it sitting right there so let's go talk about it this is my frontager mound this is here just to make Sega GT okay so one of the requirements to get the town to look nice was that I had to like decorate everything and I didn't really feel, because again, the island shape is not the way I want it, and there is going to be like prime decoration set up for the island to look nice, so it's not the way I wanted it right now, so I just needed to improvise, so I just placed a ton of furniture over here, some over there, and I'm going to get rid of it, don't worry, it's all going to be here, I'm not littering, this is just thrown here to make Sega GG look nice just for now, and I planted a bunch of flowers, You're gonna change. I'm going to get rid of all of this and fix it later on. So the next biggest change I probably have to show you is, well, this isn't a big change, but this is really cool. Now, I'm, I'm pro I might get a lot of hate for this. I might get a lot of love for this. As you know, I'm a history buff. I love the Soviet Union. So, you know, Soviet flag is my is the flag of Sega GT. I want it to be the path, too. I want it to, like, be, I want the paths to be, like, oh, when I do the paths, I'm going to do, I want the design to be a lot more Soviet. So there's, it's going to be a blend of, like, New Yorkish Soviet design. So, like, the roads are going to be hammer and sickles. I don't know. I think that's going to look super cool with, like, white and red things all around. That's, that's how I, I want the design to be with a grand museum and, you know, residential services area looking grand. That, that, that's my plan, anyway. We'll, we'll figure it out when we cross that bridge. But, um... Yeah, that, that's the flag. I know some people might not like it. This pumpkin decoration, I did not place here. KK Slider and Isabel did that. Uh, here's where my former house used to be, and I cleaned everything up, and I put a new bridge here just to help me get over here easier, and so that's why I did that. I just kind of tossed it here. Um, let me see. I know there's supposed to be something here on the dock, but... Nope, not here yet. I know it'll be here soon after. But, uh, yeah, I just kind of, like, tossed this together. I know. It, it, again, I want you I want you to take a long, hard look at this island because this is not going to be the way it's going to look later on when we do our huge stream. Like I said, once I unlock everything with the Island Designer app, because there's more stuff I have to unlock, we will, um, we will do a huge stream where I'm just, uh... Where I'm just completely changing the island, and then we'll do one where I'm decorating and building roads and so on and so forth. That's going to be, like, the most tedious thing ever. I might do... Is there a helicopter going by? I might do, like, a, mo a more, like, tedious, like, video form thing and just, like, montage it all over, you know? That, 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 that's my plan, though. So, 
with the extra fences I had from where my house were, I just put some around the, uh, Bon Bon and Jeremiah's houses. He got two bushes, she got flowers, and they both got a peach tree that they like share in the middle of their houses. It's a little uneven. Well, the well, the beginning of the gate is uneven. This third flower wasn't actually supposed to grow here. It just did. So that that's why that's there. Next newest thing here on the island is the Able Sisters Tailor Shop. So I don't know if I showed this off before, but the Able Sisters, Mabel and Sable, have moved in, and they sell clothes here. And uh, I don't buy any clothes from them personally because I have everything I want. But you know, you can come here, and you can come here, and you can buy clothes and try on different clothes, and they got different sets. There's like a cowboy set right there that's like actually pretty freaking cool. I'm be honest, I might actually just buy that. That also you can get like <laughs> I don't know like a, a 90s hip hop guy outfit, samurai toes and things like that. Uh, let's talk to Sable. I talk to her daily. Oh hello Marvin, you seem pretty chipper. You're always making the effort to stop by, and I can't so much as offer you a cup of tea. I'm sorry. If we had just one more pair of claws around here to help out, I might be able to chat more. Oh, not this again. Come on, Sable. You gotta stop torturing yourself like this. Our sister Label went out into the world to pursue her dream of being a big-time designer. We promised her we'd work like hedgehogs. We'd work like hedgehogs, Sonic, anyone? To take care of the shop while she's gone, remember, sis? How could I forget when I've got you? But you're right, Mabes. I've, I'll get my head out of the clouds. That said, Marvin, I can't offer sparkling conversation, but I hope you'll keep stopping by anyway. Oh, no, I'll always talk to you, Sable. I love you guys. Sable, she's that character in Animal... If you've played any, any other Animal Crossing game, you know you have to always warm up to her. She won't talk to you. But she's often my favorite character in the game just because of how funny she is. And so I, I do love her character. I love both of these hedgehogs. Are she, is she wearing devil horns? I didn't even notice that. So, uh, yeah, you know, th this is the Able Sister Shop. You could try on clothes here. This, it's nice. Uh, I don't want anything here today. Well, I might actually... You know, I might kind of, I'm kind of tempted to buy that and wear it for Halloween. Looking pretty stylish, isn't it? Anything particular catch your eye? Can I, can I buy all of it? You, you know, I'm going to buy all of this. Yeah, that'll be one. I'm, I'm buying it all. We're going to, let's, let's go wear this, okay? We're going to wear this for Halloween. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to wear, this is going to be a Halloween costume. Because there is, I know there is a Halloween ho costume that you can do. And we're going to buy it. There we go. And let's get the cowboy boots. I'll buy them. Great. Now let's go. Put, let's put this on, actually. So we'll put on the Outback hat. The cowboy shirt. Then we'll put on the cowboy boots. There we go. We're going to go. Wait a second. Is this a. Is this a girl outfit? You know, this might actually be a girl outfit. I think... Let's change this. Let's buy this. I want to actually... This looks kind of cool. Let's buy this. That, that's pretty cool, right? Let, let's, we're going to dress like this. This is how we're going to... Well, hold on. Let's see everything they have in stock. But we can see everything they have in stock based on what they have in the fitting room. So let's go inside the fitting room. I can show it off. Uh... They got the cowboy shirt. So on so oh yo, they had a they had a blue one? Yeah, they did. Oh yo. Look, they had the blue one to match our outfit. Yo, we're going with that. Uh let's see what type of pants they had to match this. Cause I wanted something else a little more. White cowboy pants. How what do you guys think? You think I... some red cowboy pants? Dude, did they have the cowboy hat and like blue? The cowboy hat. Oh, they don't have it in blue. Dang, if they would have had it in blue, it would have been so freaking cool. We'll keep it in red, though. Um, What about the boots? They got the boots in blue. Yo. Okay. Okay, I'm thinking. No, they got it in white. Let's buy them in white. Okay, I'm thinking this is how we'll go. This is how we're going to do it, okay? We're going to go looking like this. Oh man, it's on the side. Yeah, yeah. This is what we'll do right here. Yeah. Okay. This is our outfit for Halloween. So, well, that was great on you. Thanks for coming by. I'll go ahead and ship what you were wearing before directly to your storage at home. Okay. So this is our new clothes. So we got our other clothes here. I'll put. I'll keep them in my inventory for now because you know, 
we're gonna wear them. This is what we'll be wearing for Halloween. So I'm gonna actually just keep this on and we'll wear this for this special day. Then we'll go back to my top hat and tuxedo. We'll keep the monocle on just because, you know, can't go without a monocle. Yeah, this actually looks pretty freaking cool. I actually like this outfit. I might wear this sometimes, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. What else is new here? What else can I show you guys? What else? What is that over there? Oh yeah, these were some fossils I placed out. Hmm, what now? You not know what to do, man? Ah, Marvin. Now that you're here, maybe you can help me out with a problem. I get carried away buying some squared Brolin glasses. I wasn't sure what to do with my surplus, so I thought I'd give you what I don't need. Okay, thank you. I don't think I'm gonna wear them. I don't like square square glasses, but uh, yeah, you know, that that that, that is mostly everything here in Sega GT. Let me see. Close in, my boy. What's up? Hey, what's good? What's the good word? What's the latest? I'm just out enjoying the cool breeze of Sega GT. Cool, I like that. Keep doing that. There's my boy Jeremiah. Um, let's go inside of Nook's Granny real quick and see what's up in here. Okay. They got some nice stuff in here. Oh, is that a stereo surround sound system? Should I buy that? Does it come in white? Oh, man, if it came in white, that'd be nice. Uh, let's look in here because we got to buy the candy because tomorrow's Halloween and like I said uh, You you guys have already seen part three, but I I haven't so you know I got to record that so you know I'm gonna do that. Uh, let's see they got wallpaper in here. Ooh, yo, that's kind of nice What would I use that for though? Uh, nah, okay, I might redesign the bathroom with that I might come back for that, but uh, yeah, that, that's what they got here. We got our candy. Let's go put that up. Ooh money let's put that in our pockets i wasn't thinking um i'll take you guys in here to talk to tom nuke and isabel just for the day and then we'll go ahead and end the uh almost said in the stream we'll go ahead and end the video because like i said i know this video like, might have been a little more over, all over the place than like normal videos on the channel but like i said this is the ending i wanted this to be a little more straightforward i wanted to play around with the path system more on my own time but i don't think i will so let's go in here and talk to Isabel and Tom Nook and see what's up with them. Oh, you know what? I might actually take you guys back to see if Red's here. I don't know if he is here. So we can talk to them, and uh, you sit at their desk. And I I've already showed off the town hall. You've seen it. Oh, Marvin, good afternoon. How can I help today? Let's talk about evals. So you're curious about the current image of Sega Red. We got a two-star. It actually went down. Uh-oh, our rating has fallen since the last time you checked. Allow me to read an excerpt for, okay, from the feedback I gathered. Let's see. I've been shipwrecked there a few times, so I consider myself an authority, and I've got ideas. Here's what: I feel like a fellow's rescue party might arrive a bit sooner if the place had more stuff going on. Add some hustle, add some bustle, make your eye on part. Okay, whatever. Well, according to recent feedback, the general sentiment is that the island lacks appealing scenery. Well, I think there's only one way to respond to this information: decorate the entire island. Well, we're not gonna do that, cause we'll do that later on on stream once I have everything I need. So. Uh, yeah, that'll do. That'll do for now, Isabel. That will do for now. Also, by the way, I should mention, when we actually do sit down to fully decorate the island on stream, uh, we will actually be incorporating time travel. So that might be upset for some people. I haven't time traveled yet, I will say. To beat the game, which we did today, I did not time travel once this entire time, I promise you. I no joke. I had no. Re I don't like time traveling in Animal Crossing games, and the idea of even doing it when we when it comes time to design the island is a bit annoying. But to be fair, Nintendo kind of dropped the ball when it comes to island designer on here. They really did, and a lot of people would agree with me that they kind of wasted some of its potential. I mean, you've seen how long it took me just to build some paths, right? It's gonna take for ever on stream that's why i said it's going to be not one stream but a series of streams because it's going to take us so freaking long to actually do anything that I i'm just going to have to do multiple sets of streams you know there might the first episode will be dedicated to like designing the island in the way we want episode two will probably be dedicated okay red's not here episode two will probably be dedicated to paths episode three to decorating and maybe episode four to decorating as well I don't know. That That's how I'm hoping. It's going to be a long stream series. I don't know when they're going to come out. I don't know when I'm going to start doing them. 
See, I might start doing them on the next four Sundays after this video. Once I, when, not, not after this video, but whenever I unlock the full potential of Island Designer, I'll have to look it up to see how to do it. But after I do do it, I might start doing, we might do a little uh, four-part Sunday Fun Day revival, you know, just dedicated straight to Animal Crossing and decorating our island. But yeah, either way, I really hope you enjoyed the Tales from Sega GT, or at least the story mode from Sega GT. Again, the game is not going anywhere. I promise you it's not going anywhere. We will be back. We will be doing this all over again. And we will, like I said, every holiday, going forward, every holiday will be an Animal Crossing video. And that includes my birthday. It will be Animal Crossing themed. Halloween this year, Animal Crossing. Christmas, Animal Crossing. Thanksgiving, Animal Crossing. Easter, Animal Crossing. Every time a holiday comes, Animal Crossing will come back along with periodic updates midway through. So expect one of these videos to come out whenever. That being said, you might be saying Sega Slayer, since the main let's play of this game is over, what does that mean for the channel? That means we're going to be starting up another let's play soon, and I think I have just the perfect idea for what I want to start, but we'll see when we get to that point. Either way, thank you for tuning into this video, and thank you for tuning into the main Let's Play. Again, Animal Crossing is not going anywhere, I promise you. In fact, it'd be more prevalent on the channel than it was even during the small little Let's Play, you know? So, that being said, if you're new here, if you could subscribe, that'd be really awesome. We're trying to reach 300 subscribers, you'd be helping us out a lot. Make sure to share this video with your friends and become a Super Slayer. I've been the one and only World's Coolest Second Enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64 And until next time, make sure to have a great day, great night, or great anytime. Have a good one, Slayers.